Hello there, welcome to Innismon Models. My name is Bob Waldron and welcome to the August 2022 show. Um, we're going to just jump straight in there with our um, last month's competition. All right, if I just get them out just here, it was a bit of a rollover, right? Because nobody claimed our vampire. F3 just here, so um, do make sure you check to make sure you um, actually win, right? But yes, we've got this Vampire by Airfix, the 148 scale, really, really cool kit, as well as the new one, or should we say it's a Reebok, um, they call it the Ghost of Kiev by um, ICM 140. 172nd scale, right? Really cool kits, and after doing the usual random number generation program, Ken down the Fed, I, Fred, I came to uh, Finsbury Phil. So, congratulations to you, Finsbury Phil. Just give me a bell, some sort of email, give me your email address, and I'll get that shipped out to you free of charge. Now, we have got another competition coming up later on in the show, so do stay tuned. Now, this month we managed to finish another step by step, and this is our zero here it's by Eddard it's 148 scale all nicely finished so all those episodes are all up on the Genesis Models website um, ready for you to view from start to finish um, now this build was intended to be a nice quick fun build and a basic build for you newcomers to the hobby so you know if you're new good one to watch if you just want something a bit relaxing a bit more fun also another good one to watch because there was a few things that we missed out with this build um, we didn't go mega fancy with our spraying um, you know you probably might be able to see you know with the weathering and the spraying you know we didn't go overboard by putting things like um, um, bleaching on there or post shading you know not even the final post shading where we had a little bit more sort of a black to um, ailerons and flaps and all that kind of stuff right you know it's sort of made it a little bit plainer than usual which actually some people might like the weathering was really nice and simple we just kind of did our own little bit of a homemade kind of wash right with some very sort of easy kind of way of doing streaking and stuff so was um you you know quite easy in that sense but hopefully as you can see you know it's still turned out to be still quite a nice bit of eye candy even though you know we kind of missed out quite a few things we went about things a little bit differently um the cockpit i know we can spend so much time on a cockpit which can really sort of suck the fun out of it sometimes um but as you could see i mean we've closed that canopy which is the big one to be able to go off and you know not have to um do all that work in the cockpit right because you close that canopy makes it harder to see in there right there was a tiny bit of photo etch in there to keep it nice and fun but it was all quite easy and quick to do um, not only that it's the build itself you know for you guys out there looking for a quick fun build or you know you're new to the hobby and you want a recommended sort of you know first build to do this build by Eddard this 140 scale zero i mean it went together like a glove. I've had no major fit issues with this at all. No major filling, no major sanding. Um, but at the same time, it's sort of like, um, you know, when you bring the two halves together, I mean, normally on a model, you'll find some sort of a recess panel line that will go over where that join line is. And you've got to put that, rescribe that back in. But because of the way this aircraft is, there wasn't any in there anyway so we really didn't have to go into things like rescribing uh, which again is maybe going a bit more intermediate um, it kind of maybe sort of sucks the fun out of it a bit you know the aircraft itself is all round one color so we didn't have to do major masking or anything like that um, the decals wasn't massive so they were kind of pretty easy you know it's a really good recommended beginners stroke have a fun build so yeah definitely a good one but those episodes are all up there to watch now we have started a whole new build and i've been working on it um which is our harrier here um this one's by kinetic model kits if i can just get this out of the box just to sort of show you um yeah this is our new step by step it's going to be done in intermediate kind of form it's the harrier gr1 gr3 i'm going to be doing the gr3 version 
right really cool kit uh, i forget how much it was now it was around about 40 50 pounds or something not bad for the amount of plastic and what you get in there good cartograph decals as well so we've got some really nice decals that goes with it um, lots of marking options to choose from um, but we're really sort of going a little bit sort of photo etch mad um, just to sort of show you what we've got here we've got um, <clears throat> all sorts of photo etch going on here with sort of exterior photo etch which I have just been building along. Um, this is a little bit further than what you've probably seen in episode one, but lovely, lovely photo etching there, really sort of bringing that detail out um, a bit more, a little bit more photo etch to go on there, but looking cool. We are going to be um, trying out for the first time, me personally and on Genesis models, is some 3D decals or decals. Now these are by Kits World. So far, I gotta say, I'm not massively impressed, but I'm gonna um, keep powering through just to see what they're like, see how they're going. I mean, so far I have found that first off, there's no instructions with these. Um, I don't know if that's just, you know, kit worlds um, in general or something. Um, I think Eddard does some, so might sort of look into them, but no instructions of where anything goes, which is a problem because you've got to go off and kind of research photos and all sorts just to find out where all these little tiny little 3d decals go um, and I have found that there is no placements for them there's nowhere physically for some of these decals to actually go onto which is also creating a bit of an issue which we, we're working through in the step by step because I want to power through with it and you know go, go for it and see what they're going to be like uh, but so far not looking too good however um, if we sort of I do have some somewhere. Where have they gone? Here they are. Um, I mean, we we did. I, I have gone off and got a whole bunch of photo etch as well. And um, this is the photo etch you would normally get with, say, Eddard. Which, I mean, if we compare them, I don't know how well you can see on camera. Um, what I have noticed is, although I've just gone over those problems, I've gone over. Um, they do seem a bit more, shall we say, 3D. There seems to be a bit more sort of raised detail, a bit more raised. You can see the buttons coming out a little bit more, right? So it might be better in that sense compared to Eddard, but we'll have a look when then build. So um, going to be kind of interesting to see how that goes along again, all the cockpit going and everything, and all the masses of photo etch, because we're really going to work through the photo etch here and sort of go through all the different ways ways of gluing them and how to get them on we've been using um, photo etch benders and everything sort of almost go in a little bit advanced with the photo etch now you can go super advanced with photo etch but we're, we're kind of like stepping in there and moving along with that so hopefully you know this month we'll see this really sort of start to see the cockpit kind of come to shape and all that good stuff also we have bill bedro he is has actually finished the f14 tomcat by amk 148 scale so that i mean i've already seen the final reveal pictures does look amazing the end results are looking absolutely cracking i know i've done a step by step on an f14 um you know and that's one of my favorite builds and it's it, you know it's really sort of you know doing a really really good one um on par with mine as well which is really really cool um nice to see that and the kit does seem to have turned out very very good as well if you're interested in doing the amk one um so i think we're up to episode seven at the moment i think there's 15 episodes altogether so i'm going to start to sort of try and plow them through and get those episodes coming out um, a lot more regularly now it's all all finished so hopefully you're going to be looking forward to that throughout the month as well so our top pick of the month here at Genesis Models goes to Chameleon 2009 for his Warhawk. Another absolute stunner. He seems to be able to keep winning these um, top pick of the months. Um, so your pictures will be going up on the Genesis Models gallery for everybody to see. So well done. Congratulations. Good, good effort. Really nice Warhawk that he's achieved there. Um, hopefully someone else can get in there and sort of stop him from keep winning it. So get, your, uh, get over to the, the forum and just show off what builds you've been doing show off your final reveal pictures and hopefully you'll be um, in it to get your 
actual um, pictures up on the Genesis Models Gallery. So well done, coming in 2009. Next up, we have this month's competition. I'm gonna be giving away this Western Lynx um, HMA8 Mark 88A or a Mark um, 90B. 148 scale by Airfix. I do believe uh, this is a rebox and they've kind of just sort of released it. Does look like a nice kit. I do believe it's very similar to the links that I did as a step by step. Um, obviously, we have a couple of changes to turn it into the HMA or or the other different Mark 88 or whatever. Um, is a very nice, nice kit. So there is a step by step to kind of watch to sort of guide you through. But as I say, it's a little bit different. But yes, we're going to be giving this away as this month's competition. So as always, get over to Genesis Models Forum on the website, and there you. You can find the competition for August 2022. Um, all you got to do is comments, um, count me in, or something to the effect, feedback, whatever, and you are entered. Please, no double posting. And as always, next month I'll announce the winner and get it shipped out to you free of charge. Also, I will be going off and getting this one done as a nice um, inbox, um, yeah, an inbox review for this month as well. So you'll be seeing this coming along as well, as well as a whole bunch of other inbox reviews I've got to get through. Now, sadly, um, that is the end of the show. I know it's been pretty hot in the UK here, so don't forget to get that retarder in your airbrushes if need be. Um, but hopefully it's going to get a little bit cooler so we can do a bit more easier modeling. Um, funnily enough, I did do a little test which kind of didn't produce any major results. But I was kind of like, what would happen if we was outside because it's hot doing our models? And I just kind of thought, oh, if I left a model out in this 40 degree heat, would it melt? And the answer is no, it didn't. Well, mine didn't anyway. Um, so we haven't got to worry about that. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been kind of playing around with when it was 40 degree heats and I couldn't be in here because it was so hot. I was outside doing a bit of modeling um, and playing around. But yeah, hopefully it's going to be a bit cooler for us to get some modeling done. So um, as always, until next time, my name is Bobby Waldron. This is Genesis Models and I hope you've enjoyed.